Oh, shit! <laughs> what is going on, my boys? It's your homie, Cody GT, coming back at you with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And in this video, we're gonna do a quick update on what's coming to the global side of the version and or global side of the game. And we have an update. Uh, Angel Golden Frieza Intelligence is coming to the global side here very soon. It looks like that he's gonna drop on Thursday or early morning Friday, like super early morning Friday, but it looks like Thursday's the date that he's gonna be dropping. There he is right there. So finally got an update, finally got some confirmation. Well, not confirmation, but finally just got some information about when he could possibly be coming. So that Dokkan event is coming very soon. We're gonna get more into that in a second. We have a server maintenance announcement. It looks like it's gonna be a nine hour maintenance, uh, which is okay, because it's gonna be dropping a lot of things. So just be prepared for that. It's gonna be a, a long maintenance for that. It looks like that's coming on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, because today's Tuesday. So it looks like tomorrow that's gonna be happening. And with that maintenance uh, and the Angel Golden Frieza is gonna be the 3.8.1 release that's incoming on um, with that maintenance. So what 3.8.1 is or was, excuse me, let me cough. <coughs> Still dealing with that cough my voice. <laughs> is basically the Extreme Z Awakening is 3.8.1. Now with 3.8.1, with this update, you're actually gonna have to do this in the App Store or the Google Play Store. So if you did not know that, now you know. You're gonna have to go to your App Store, your Google Play Store, and actually update it from there to continue playing the game. So uh, make sure you do that when the update happens. And that update is gonna be the Extreme Z Awakening. So it looks like they're dropping the Extreme Z Awakening like most people predicted with the Angel Golden Frieza uh, because like I mentioned in my last uh, update, Extreme Z Awakening video, you in a sense, see now I never played Extreme Z Awakening on the JP version. I don't have the JP version. So what people on the JP version were saying is that you need Angel Golden Frieza to complete the Extreme Z Awakening for Goku. How true that is, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure you can do it without him. I'm sure there's people out there that can. I just think Angel Golden Frieza makes it a lot more doable and that category, uh, Revive Warrior category, makes it a lot more doable to do the Extreme Z Awakening. So if you want the Extreme Z Awakening to be a little bit easier and to get Goku fully you know max out level wise and super attack wise you might want to go for this angel golden frieza hence why i'm going to go for him but also because I, I love that category and i have the units to fit on there so that's another reason why so really quickly now that i got the updates out the way you got the maintenance coming you got extreme z awakening coming you got angel golden frieza dropping we got the dates and all that good stuff um, i wanted to go over to the japan side the japanese side and I wanted to go ahead and look at kind of the, the, the banner that Angel Golden Frieza was on and then just kind of look at the, the scheduling of how the other banners were dropped after Angel Golden Frieza and kind of just give my thoughts and predictions on what I think they might be doing uh, for that. So just give me a second because Angel Golden Frieza was way, way back on the, on the JP side. So... Just give me a second, my boys. I'll get over there. So it should be coming up right, right about. You can see how far back he was, honestly, when he dropped on the on the JP side of the game. So okay, so there he is. <coughs> Excuse me. And so with his banner, you can see that on the Japanese side, on the Japan side, he. You had the Angel Golden Frieza, you had Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, you had Intelligence Kid Buu, Tech Golden Frieza, Metal Cooler, Physical Kid Buu, Full Power Frieza, and that SR, uh, Buff Buu. So, this is how his banner looked on JP, and this is very well how his banner can look on Global. Um, they can make zero changes um, and drop them on Global as he looks right here, which more likely than not, they're probably gonna do um, in my last summoning video, I mentioned how it would be nice if they buffed the banner. I still stand by that. Um, I would love if they replace, you know, that physical Kid Buu 
or the metal cooler. Now, there may be some people out there that don't have physical Kid Buu or metal cooler and they want him really bad, but in all honesty, um, as a Dokkan festival and him dropping when he's dropping, I just think the banner would be nice if it was buffed, replaced with those two units. Um, Tech Golden Frieza, I mean, you could keep them if you want to. I just, I don't know. It, I, to me, I just think the banner would be nice. It'd be buff. But if you ask for my opinion, I think they're going to drop them just how it is. I don't think they're going to make any changes. So uh, looking at this banner, the worth, the worth is there for the Extremes, the Awakening. The Angel Golden Frieza is fantastic. The Angel Tech Goku is fantastic. Um, the Intelligence Kid Buu is fantastic as units in of themselves. Um, but as far as like a whole Dokkan Fest banner goes, I mean, just I'm, I'm only basing this because I could I know what's what's to come, and what's to come is so much better than this. That's so that's the only reason. Like if we did not know, like uh, the JP side didn't know, then this banner would be this banner would be hype. It would be super super hype, and it is still hype. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just I know what's to come. So to me. The worth is there because I want Angel Golden Frieza to do the Extreme Z Awakening and for the category, but a buff would have been nice. That's all I'm saying. So that's that. Now what I wanted to look at is how it went on the JP side and how I think it might go on the global side to see where you should spend your stones um, and how deep you should go on the Angel Golden Frieza. Um, just to get it out the way really quickly, I'm probably going to go deep. Um, honestly, my first summoning video that, that I do is probably going to be 500 stones. Just telling you that right off the bat. Um, so, but for you guys who don't spend a whole lot of stones or free to play, saving your stones, what, you know, how hard should you go on the Angel Golden Frieza? Well, it all depends on how bad you want the Extremes, the Awakening Goku. But also, we could take a look at what happens over here on the JP side. So, right now, on the global side, we have the Intelligence Banner right now. That's going to be leaving in a couple of days. Um, and then we already had this um, banner right here, I believe so, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or we had something very similar uh, that we had earlier. And then we already, <coughs> excuse me, had the Ultra Instinct Goku. So if you take a look at the dates, this Dokkan Fest for Angel Golden Frieza was 10:11. This one for Ultra Instinct Goku was 10:26. So the uh, Angel Golden Frieza for us. It's going to be dropping on the 15th, I believe. So um, in the next couple of weeks, the next Dokkan Fest should be coming. It looks like in the next like two weeks, the next Dokkan Fest should be coming. So um, now we already had the Ultra Instinct Goku, so obviously that won't be coming. But what came after Ultra Instinct Goku was LR Bojack's banner. Now they could swap for the global side anyways. They could put LR Bojack right where Ultra Instinct Goku was and drop that. That could be a thing. Um, but if we're going off of Dokkan Fest, you know, because they did a Dokkan Fest and then they did a Dokkan Fest, you know, a couple filler banners. So we'll probably get a couple filler banners. Um, you know, we might get a, a, a type banner with Elder Kai's. Uh, we might get this banner because this was the Resurrect Resurrected Warrior category banner. So we might get those fillers and then a Dokkan Fest, so wouldn't be LR Bojack per se, but it could be. What was the next Dokkan Fest to come after that was, we already got the Kefla, was not a Dokkan Fest, was Physical Vegito. But we got Physical Vegito, right? We already got him, so he came early. So what was next after that was way up here, was Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. But... I don't know. See, that's why it's, that's why it's really weird and it's very hard to predict right now, because Super Saiyan 3 Bardock had Angel Golden Frieza and Tech Angel Goku. You know, they're not gonna do Angel Golden Frieza, Tech Angel Goku again. You know, like two weeks later. Um, so they're really it, it. Now that's if they do Super Saiyan 3 Bardock as the next Dokkan Fest, because we already had the other Dokkan Fest. We had the Ultra Instinct Goku. We had physical Vegito, and that's just saying if they don't put LR Bojack there. That's I'm just going off of JP. If they did Dokkan Fest two weeks later, Dokkan Fest. If they do that, then Super Saiyan 3 Bardock would be next, um, unless they push him back. Unless they push him back and they bring out, 
they couldn't they couldn't because what are you going to bring out the dual dokkan fest was the next one so they have to do super saiyan 3 bardock if they would do the next dokkan fest but they would have to they probably would replace angel golden frieza and tech angel goku definitely tech angel goku they would replace they may keep angel golden frieza replace tech angel goku and put somebody else there i don't know guys um it's weird how they're doing it on global and switching it up but that's if they were to do it this way now if they weren't to do it this way let's say they did angel golden frieza two weeks later lr bojack okay this would make more sense lr bojack and then the next dokkan fest um you know way down here or over here 1116 um which on global would be way later uh would be super saiyan 3 bardock in his category that would make more sense in my opinion because you're going from a category to another category two weeks later i don't think that makes more uh, makes a whole lot of sense and i think they want to space categories out a little bit more so i think what they will do is angel golden frieza filler filler lr bojack see because these aren't categories um this was just a dokkan fest because of the special um lr bojack actually no that is a category what am i saying that is a category that's from a god's category holy shit so yeah i mean they could possibly do that yeah that's, that's very in the realms of possibility so they could do that they could do that this is all speculating guys this is all predicting this is all what i'm just going off of and what i'm trying to base it on um and trying to just see what what they might do and just give you guys kind of an overlay on, on what where you should spend your stones how much should you go on angel golden frieza and what's to come next and kind of put it in perspective on where things might drop it's kind of hard because global is kind of all over the place compared to how they did it on jp so it's hard to just kind of figure out where it goes uh, but it, i i think it would make a lot of sense if just lr bojack came after angel golden frieza two weeks later because he fits on the uh, revive warrior categories team it'd make it easier to do easy a all that good stuff so that could be that could be how they do it so I might just be looking too much into it, to be honest with you. But that's what I do. I look into things uh, very, very detailed. And um, and I like to try and predict when these things will come. Uh, so, But that's most likely what they're probably going to do. Uh, put LR Bojack right after Angel in the Freeza. And I was probably just looking too much into it. And then go right into Super Saiyan 3 Bardock a little bit later. So, and just keep it the same as far as what they have there. But, yeah, guys. So, um, just a little overlay. A uh, little update for you guys. And, uh... Angel Golden Freeze is dropping very soon. Get your stones ready. Um, and let me know if you're going hard for him. Like I said, my first summoning video is probably going to be about 500 stones. Um, and I'm definitely going to go for him. I definitely want to do a tech, uh, uh, tech Angel Goku. Uh, so that would be nice as well. And so it uh, should be a good time. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for his streams, The Awakening. Um, and uh, I need more Gokus. I only have one copy. Um, I don't have any dupes. I never pulled the man, actually. I got him off of stones. I think I stated that before. Not stone, the red dragon stone. So, um, but yeah, it's going to be exciting. Uh, some, some, finally, some good stuff coming to Global here. Uh, so whenever all that drops, I will do another video for you guys. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like for your boy. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for more contents like this. Uh, updates, summoning, all that good stuff. I will do an overlay on uh, Angel Intelligence Angel Frieza when he comes, um, as far as what he does. I'm sure you guys already know. Um, and then maybe do like a little, you know, uh, team building. Not team building, but kind of the optimal team, with what I would put together for my team in my box, and maybe go over some filler units. But other than that, my boys, I hope you enjoyed everything. I hope this was informative. I hope you got some good stuff out of this. And uh, always remember, my boys, always be different, always stand out, always have fun, always go further beyond in everything that you do. Until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.